<laughs> Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Prison Architect. My name is Weasel. We're back in our prison and well, the security disaster is still going on three and a half more hours and then well, we're good to uh, uh, fall back into our old uh, careless routines, just kidding, uh, in a few hours. We'll be fine at least and don't have to worry about losing our job. Definitely a thing that can happen in this game. All right, so time for some planning because I would like to increase the capacity of this by a little bit. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to plan out the space that's needed to add all of these extra cells to it. Uh, for that, it's going to be four high, so we're going to need all of this area. One, two, three. I guess we could do the width or eh, who cares, too wide is fine as well. And this is just going to be a little bit tighter over here. As much as I love the concept of the copy-paste uh, uh, system, I kind of want to do it manually now just to not run into problems again. Um, we're going to be starting by adding this concrete building to it. Actually, this brick building to it. We're not going to go over the walls to open it up in any case. We're just going to build it alongside the wall and then remove the walls as necessary. That way we should keep uh, the prisoners inside. If not, we're going to have a really, really awkward problem in the future. Wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time. Okay, they are, they're fairly slow because there's no metal grates on the floor. About that, how about we spend some extra cash monies and build some metal floors? They're nice and fast, walk speed fast. I mean, mosaic floor is also possible. I just feel like metal is like way more depressing, therefore way more appropriate and way more fun. Metal floors, oh yes. We should have that in all the cells for that matter. There you go, that's, that's worth it. And over the hallway, hmm, so depressing. But things will be faster. So that makes me happy. Man, that must be fun sleeping in a cell while people working around you installing a metal floor. Mmm. Good night's rest, definitely. Well, you gotta give them one thing. They're really fast at installing these floors. That is pretty amazing. How fast they uh, uh, switch that off. Our uh, extension to the prison cell, uh, prison block is happening soon. This won't get me to 50 cells though, which is kind of a bummer. I decided that I'm going to add a high security prison area. So that is going to need to be planned out. Basically, we're going to be uh, adding uh, several security measures like these two hallways and our own little, I want to say ecosystem? Nah, ecosystem is the wrong, wrong, wrong word, I think. But our own little canteen and kitchen just for our high security guests. Okay, so our building over here has been more or less finished. We got some money from all the people we're uh, taking in, all the prisoners. Uh, so we're gonna have to build more rooms for them, which now means that I'm going to finish up those as best as I can. Now I can use the basic cell without ruining everything. All right, wonderful. We have a positive cash flow again. We have 50 people in here. Actually, quite a few maximum security prisoners. I guess they got upgraded. Um, do we also get more money for them though? You know, given that they were high risk ones, are we also getting more payment? Prisoner Grand 7,300. That seems about right. So as you can see, I planned out this area. We're going to have our own cantina in the middle, a shower here, and the security room for CCTV and whatnot is also going to be in the high security facility. But first, we're going to have to build all of this, and we're also going to have to probably take a grand to be able to afford these things. I guess I could always, like, fire one armed guard. Hey, you guys are just hanging out in the armory. You're not even doing anything. All right, you two fired, which gives me a little bit more money to work with. Got a little tight there, so to speak. And this building over here is definitely going to be concrete. We don't even have nearly enough money to build this extension. That's quite annoying. So what's the problem here? Failed bed. Oh, we forgot the... Oh, they still need to be built. Never mind. I'm just very slow. One thing that we should consider is start to send them to work. Because that will make us some money. Some much needed money. Prison labor was already approved, which is excellent. And if I can find the place where I can take my loans. Current bank loan. 500. I'm gonna... 2,500. That's all you got? That's all you're going to give me for a workshop? Mmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Well, how big can we build it, though? Eh, that's actually a fairly decent size, I gotta say. Oh, boy. I don't have enough money 
I'm missing <laughs> I'm missing 50 bucks for my door. I'm so broke. Uh, need more prisoners. But I can't get rid of the armed guards. They the people here need to be suppressed. Oh yeah, free fire definitely authorizes your armed guards to use lethal force. Yep. That's that's a thing we should just have on. Oh, warning shots. You know what? Maybe we should turn this off unless there is a riot going on. I think they're scared enough as of right now. I had no problems, as you can see. Uh, I think they are, um... 20 prisoners say they're well treated. Well, I must be doing something wrong. We could do a shakedown and hopefully make some money that way to be able to afford a door. I heard we get some stuff from contraband. Oh, yeah, uh, cigarettes. Eh, not bad. A drill, some shears. How did you get a pair of shears in here? We don't even have a workshop yet. I guess the gardener. It's the gardener's fault. It must be. Alright, pretty happy with that shakedown. Not getting much money from that, though. Not entirely sure how that works. Tool cleanup. Following a number of incidents in other prisons involving stolen items, a group is performing studies on the distribution of tools and weapons throughout the prison. This part of the trial involves trying to remove all such items from your prison population. Remove the supply of stolen tools and stolen weapons. Ooh, yes. And crack down on drugs. Find 10 illegal narcotics. Oh, I already did that. Ha! Huh. Excellent. Finally some money back. Excellent. It's gonna allow us to work on this stuff. Alright, that looks good. That's gonna be a nice big workshop. Of course the wall was removed. That always happens. Always selecting it the wrong way. Classic weasel there. Classic weasel for you. Alright, rooms workshop. Oh, I'm excited to build that. Finally making some money. All right, very expensive, but we have a lot of different things we can now do in our workshop. I'm basically broke again because I bought all of this stuff. I hope it pays off. I genuinely hope it pays off. It better. Are there not walls being built? No, there's walls being built. All right. Logistics, max jobs, requires workshop safety induction. Ah, oh, god damn it. You need me to teach them something? That's awful. I don't want to teach them anything. Oh, beautiful rain. I built this room, but I forgot what I wanted to do with it. I think this is where I wanted to put the security room. I mean, I intended then to build it in here eventually. This will eventually be a thing. Oh, the fence is done. Oh, are you kidding me? I can put bunk beds in here? Oh, yes. We're gonna increase the prisoner size. Alright, prisoner acclimatization. Damn, reading is hard. And engagement. We're gonna take that. It uh, just requires us to uh, assign three to laundry kitchen and the cleaning cupboard. I'll, I'll take that so, so we get some extra money because I really want to put bunk beds in here, but they're gonna cost me a little bit more than the regular beds. For now, we have to wait for the workmen to uh, finish building this shop. And then we can install the bunk beds, which means we're gonna be out of cells for a little bit once they uh, start removing the beds. Yeah, that's a lot of to-dos on the left side. Remove the supply of to stolen tools and stolen weapons. I guess we could do a shakedown uh, at night and try to make our money that way. Ah, excellent. The beds are getting removed. We can use them later for other uh, cells, but for now, bunk beds is the place to be. Oh, yeah. Y'all gonna have to share a bed. And I'll be saving so much money because I can squeeze in more. I mean, it looks like both prisoners can stand in that room. So I think that's plenty of space for all I'm concerned. Oh, never mind. I made a big mistake. You cannot use bunk beds like this. Urgh, bunk beds are for dormitories. Well, that's, that's, that's a bummer. I mean, that just means we have to change the room style to a dormitory rather than a cell. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yep, you're gonna have to share. For a second, I was genuinely concerned there. Haha! -ha! We got the grand completion because now we can house 50 inmates. We're actually gonna be able to host more once this stuff is being properly built. What's your problem? It's not enclosed anymore? Oh, right. My bad. This needs to go. That should do it, and this just needs a bunk bed. Not a problem there. I guess you can put even more in there if you're like, ah, you know what? Let's uh, put four people in there. I don't care if it's too tight. If it fits, it fits. Well, that means we have a little bit more room. We can bring this number up to 60. Beautiful. 
which means we're going to have like four in the holding cell. I'm absolutely intending to get rid of all of these. Um, here we have so many beds. Yeah, I was totally not aware that dormitories are a thing. That's going to change my approach drastically. Also, I have never assigned this as a shower. Awful, awful weasel. Here you go. It's a shower now. Yay. Excellent. Uh, yeah, dormitory. Hmm. <laughs> now that we have some extra beds that we don't need to pay for, how about we build a big dormitory right over here? Yeah, it's like perfectly sized. Oh boy, oh boy, we're running out of electricity. Ooh, let's uh, put a capacitor in there before things blows up. Yeah, let's fill this up. That's fine. We can afford it. I have to find a good place for a dormitory. Yes, build my little worker bees. Build. Oh, it's going to be so full in there. We could also put bunk beds in there, but I have so many single beds that I feel it's just reasonable to use them. Yeah, you build that door, will you? Hooray. All right, we have 18 beds over. What, is, what am I hearing? It's like a door jamming into that garbage bag. Two, three, four. You know, that's not that's not really big. Just, you know, got to gotta fill it up a little bit more. Fill up the wall. Okay, we have six more beds. Maybe we should wait. But I do think it's reasonable to install a singular toilet here. Mmm, a singular toilet. You don't need more. Don't be don't don't be silly. One toilet for the whole for whole bunch. It should just be maximum security. <laughs> ah, it would be fantastic. Um let's not do that. Let's uh, let's be somewhat smart at least about this. This is already absolutely horrendous. Well, it just needs a toilet. It's all it needs. I mean, I had to do something with the beds that I have. I just had to. Yeah, everyone, everyone squeeze in the shower. Oh, it's, I guess, not enough. It still floods everything. Somebody's going to slip over this, and then I'm going to get sued, and I'm going to be poor, and I'm going to have to close my prison, and my wife is going to leave me, and the dog is going to laugh at me. Yeah, no. Let's put some more uh, drainage pipes down. I see no reason not to, honestly. Other than money, obviously. Okay, so far so good. We have a nice daily cash flow. I like that. 3,000. We still haven't set up the workshop because we're going to need a... Wow, this is really working. Excellent. Um, maybe we should give them a bookshelf in here. I mean, that's not too much. kind of feel it's just reasonable since there's so many in there. One bookshelf. That, that'll be fine. What we could put here into this room would be maybe the... La uh, not laundry. The... What's it called? Cleaning closet. The cleaning closet uh, allows us, the cleaning cupboard, allows us to assign folks to this good place. Uh, we do need something for this, right? No, I think this has no items. All right, deployment? No. Logistics, there you go. Maximum jobs, eight. Prison labor, yes. Eight people, good times. Max jobs, eight in the kitchen. Uh, they should be qualified prisoners, zero. I'm going to assign the maximum to this anyway. But over here, also eight jobs in the kitchen. Sure, why not? They'll steal tools and whatnot, but so be it. At least it's assigned. Uh, assigned free prisoners to work in the laundry. I have no laundry yet. Which obviously means that I have to build a laundry. That's fine. Let's make a nice big one over here. And I will be needing a door for the laundry. Just a regular plain old door. And then we can assign uh, people to do that. Clean the sheets and whatnot. Gives them something to do. Saves us some money. Keeps it clean and whatnot. And since we have some extra cash monies, I would love to put some metal floors over everything. Metal floors everywhere. Wait, don't don't replace that stuff. Replace the actual floors, not the walls, please. Please. Good. Dormitory as well. The workshop. Hmm. <laughs> Concrete floors, fine. Wow, ceramic floors, 50 per square foot. That's pricey. Oh, wooden floors. You know what? I'd like to have some... Wow, that's pricey. Fuck that. No, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, peeps. Not worth it. The common room, though, on the other hand, could put a nice floor in there. Makes them maybe happier. I, I doubt it. Prisoners are not happy. They're not supposed to be happy. Oh, I just realized our gardener is stuck out here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we kind of locked him in with the fence. He should have uh, died at this point. Oh, what's that? A page. I found a page. Excellent. The looks like death page. A death page. Oh, that's that's neat. 
I like I like to find these little things that look like the tech tree of sorts. Okay, objects. Put down a staff door so the gardener can get out of here, poor buddy. Also, left click, speed that up so you can get out of here. And while we're at it, yeah, install that door too. Actually, it doesn't need to be faster. They're all busy installing the floor grates. I might have gone a little bit overboard, but don't judge me. You, you, you don't know me. Okay. This looks good. Materials, I'd love to have some... Hmm, walk speed normal, road stone normal. So like an fast outdoor one. Yeah, I guess it's 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 stone. Stone is fairly fast outdoor. It's also pricey, but I do want them to walk fast through here. Why is there a prisoner? What what is he doing here? Okay, multiple crimes including manslaughter. I don't know why he's going here, but I'm gonna put him into solitary for six hours, just because I feel like he's not supposed to be there. I don't think I set that up, but shh, don't tell. Um, staff only. Yes, please. It's actually a good point. Uh, staff only. Yeah, build, build a nice stone path. Make it look nice and snazzy over here. I like that. You guys go. We should maybe have a look into our, uh, time here. Because there's no work time, I think. Nope, work free time. Currently not set up. I don't see work in here. It's free time, so... Oh, whoops. No, 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 nothing else. They both did the same. Work slash work up. Uh, look up. If you don't work, you have to sit in your cell, something like that. And we're gonna increase shower time to two, and we're gonna do some free time at the end of the day. That way we get some, some, some shit done. It's a lot of eating happening, I just realized that. That's too much eating for my taste, but I guess they need some time to do. How many hours of sleep is that? That's, uh, three, six, eight hours of sleep. Mmm, mmm, no. We're not doing that. I want some extra work here, and you can sleep for seven hours. That's that's good enough for me. All right, now that we have our cleaning cupboard, I think they're gonna start cleaning stuff. Nah, I forgot. They still oh, that's in the laundry. Right, we finished that room. Laundry room. Where are you? We're gonna have the cleanest of them all. Yeah, this is all gonna be laundry. It's gonna need some tools, like laundry machines. We might have spent way too much money on this. It's entirely possible because this room is probably too small for all of this. What else do you want? Oh yeah, right, it needs to be set up first. Deployment, no, logistics. Maximum job 16, oh! Yes, 16 jobs, everyone gets to work there. I like that, I like the sound of that. I guess it was not a bad idea to set that all up. And we're gonna be needing some pipes and some electricity to run those washing machines. And that shall do it. Also, I think it's a good idea to put the, where is it, the fancy stones. Outside. Concrete tiles walk speed fast. Oh, stone isn't even the fast one. It's concrete tiles. I'm a numbnut. Why why did I think that was fast? Well, you live, you learn. Concrete tiles it is. Just wasted a whole bunch of money. But that's weasel for you. That's weasel for you. Somebody's so upset at that. I already know that somebody is. Alright, we're gonna put some wire tiles under the infirmary. I think that's fairly neat. And so far so good. We'll need a classroom soon. But I think I'll keep the classroom for the next episode. Uh, we have more rooms in here. We can hold up to 71 prisoners. So I'm going to be ramping this up to 70. Making this a little bit fuller. This seems a bit too tight, honestly. Maybe we should look into uh, another canteen or increasing the canteen size. The kitchen seems to be handling this just fine. Anyways, we haven't been able to remove any of the supplies yet. That's a thing we'll, we'll need to do. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!